dive into the Bible. Welcome to our segment where we take a deep dive into the Bible. The Bible is accessible to everyone, yet parts of it can be surprising and challenging to comprehend if we do not understand its cultural context. Now, do you remember the Ark of the Covenant in the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark? It was a wooden chest overlaid with gold that contained the tablets of the Ten Commandments. The Israelites believed the Ark of the Covenant uh, symbolized Yahweh's throne or God's throne representing His very presence on earth. It was to be kept in the tabernacle and later in the Temple of Solomon. In the movie, Adolf Hitler is on a quest for the legendary Ark of the Covenant, whose supernatural powers, legend says, can wipe out entire armies. The U.S. government enlists the help of the American archaeologist, uh, university professor, and the man of adventure, Indiana Jones, uh, to beat the Nazis to the biblical fine. Now, as the movie progresses, Indiana Jones and an old girlfriend are captured, and they watch the Nazis open the ark, and as they do that, they are killed, but Indy and his old flame survive because they kept their eyes closed. They did not look into the ark. Now, as the movie ends, the American government has the Ark of the Covenant. They have sealed it in a wooden crate. They've stamped it with a government serial number, and they've wheeled it into this very large warehouse containing thousands of similar-looking containers uh, to be forgotten. Uh, so based on the movie, the Ark of the Covenant is in some crate somewhere in a governmental a, a warehouse someplace, all right? So, it's a fun movie to watch. It raises an intriguing question. Where is the Ark of the Covenant today? Uh, the idea that the Ark of the Covenant survived uh, Nebuchadnezzar's invasion of Judah is based on the absence of any explicit reference to the Ark being among the vessels of gold carried to the uh, uh, Babylon when the Babylonians came in and and uh, took over uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar also took some of the treasures, it says in uh, 2 Chronicles 36.7, uh, he took some of the treasures from the temple of the Lord and he placed them in his palace in Babylon. Now, likewise, the list of items brought back to Judah found in Ezra uh, 1 verses 5 through 11, again, after this is after the exile, it again makes no mention of the ark. Therefore, since there's no mention of the ark uh, before uh, they were taken to exile and then with stuff being brought back from exile, um, there's nothing said that the ark of the covenant was destroyed. People have resisted the idea that God would allow Nebuchadnezzar to destroy Israel's holiest object. Therefore, there are nearly a dozen theories as to how the ark has survived. Some of the theories come from biblical events. Perhaps Hezekiah gave the ark uh, Sennacherib as part of his tribute payment in 2 Kings uh, 18. It might have been removed by the faithful priests when Manasseh put an idol in the temple in 2 Kings chapter 21. Um, these are just ideas that, that they, some people think could have happened to the ark. Indiana Jones told millions that uh, Pharaoh Shishak took the ark to the city of uh, Tanis in Egypt where he invaded, uh, when he invaded Jerusalem, which we find in 1 Kings chapter 14, verses 25 through 28. But perhaps the most intricate theory involves uh, Menelik I, the alleged son of Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, who took the ark to Ethiopia. Other theories grew out of specific passages in the uh, apocryphal text. Uh, 2 Maccabees uh, 2 5 records Jeremiah hiding the ark in a cave before Nebuchadnezzar's uh, invasion. 2 Barak 6 1 through 9 describes the ark being supernaturally swallowed up by the earth before the attack. So these are just, again, 
um, ideas that are in these uh, Apocrypha books. Um, however, the best explanation is that King Nebuchadnezzar cut the Ark in, of the Covenant into pieces with the other components of gold uh, as told to us in 2 Kings chapter 24, verse 13, where it says, As the Lord had said beforehand, Nebuchadnezzar carried away all the treasures from the Lord's temple and the royal palace. He stripped away all the gold objects that the king, Solomon of Israel, had placed in the temple. So why would I say that is the best scenario? Well, because of what the prophet Jeremiah said in Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. It says this, And when your land is once more filled with people, says the Lord, you will no longer wish for the good old days when you possess the ark of the Lord's covenant. You will not miss those days or even remember them, and there will be no need, I want you to get this, to rebuild the ark. Uh, verse 17 says, In that day Jerusalem will be known as the throne of the Lord. Jerusalem will be known as the throne of the Lord. All nations will come there to honor the Lord. They will no longer stubbornly follow their own evil desires. So that passage explains that the ark would be absent because of the exile. However, Jeremiah 3.16 also insists that there will be no need to rebuild the ark doesn't that suggest the Ark of the Covenant would be destroyed? Jeremiah 3.17 says one day that Jerusalem would be God's throne, no longer the Ark of the Covenant. We read about this in Revelation chapter 21, verses 2 and 3. And it says this, And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a, a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. All this points to a destroyed Ark of the Covenant. However, if that's what really happened, no one would pay to see that movie with Indiana Jones. It just wouldn't have drawn the people in to see it. It wouldn't have been, had any action. So I just hope you uh, think about that the Ark of the Covenant has probably been destroyed, will never be found, and I hope you enjoyed this week's view of Deep Dive into the Bible, where we deal with a cultural context of the Bible. Deep Dive into the Bible.